So what counsel then would you give to the new blogger? And you've sort of already spoken to that in our first two questions. <clears throat> um, but to dispel um, the fear of writing and writer's block, when we, can you speak to that? Well, I don't think anyone has a hard time talking. <laughs> no. So That's right. I, I feel like you talk every single day. We talk every single day. And we're always practicing our talking. We talk every day. So I, my suggestion is write like you talk. Uh, especially for blogging. It's, in its earliest inception, blogging is really just journaling. And so I don't think that there's really anything different with uh, blogging now. I mean, it's, it's, it's evolved and, you know, it's become this big business. But writing in general is just like talking. Yeah. And so I think it's a practice. We practice talking every single day. And to become a better writer, to become a better blogger, you just simply write every day. Yeah. Um, also, there are so many tools out there. If, if you do have a hard time with actually sitting down and writing, and you find that that's a muscle that's just atrophied, then go with what your, what your strength is. It could be getting in front of video and speaking and yeah. having that transcribed. Yeah. It could be uh, any number of transcription services. Uh, it could be doing audios. Um, like, for example, we're, we're having this, we're, this conversation, this interview yeah. right now, and you could have this transcribed. And there could be like three different articles that come out of this and you could get the transcription and then you could read it through and maybe you might make a few edits or a few changes. So I think that that can help people who even think that they're terrible at writing find a way to have access to publishing their writing online and, and being a blogger in that sense. It's not necessarily all the laborious work of sitting down and typing. But in general, I think in order to be a better writer, you just have to sit down and write and do the work and do the practice. Yeah. And, and just to add to that a little bit, or a comment to that, um, I've heard a couple of people mention that if you have a real good image of who your ideal client is and have that person in front of you, a couple of girls here have mentioned they've got an actual image behind the monitor. Yeah. And so when they're writing, they pretend they're having a conversation or they, you know, and so that they are talking to their ideal client when, as yes. they write. Write to one person. That is a very good reminder, Pat. Biggest, that's, a, I think that's really, really important. Always just write to one person. Yeah. Don't try to talk to a lot of different people. Just always have that imaginary person in your head and always write to just one person. And I think you'll find that it's akin to sitting across like this, like if we're having a cup of coffee, and, and just talking amongst one another, it's, it's not any different than that. Yeah, yeah. Well, those are three very good um, comments for the uh, person who wants to get online and do some blogging and do some meaningful work with that. So I really thank you for your time. You're um, welcome. I appreciate that a lot. I want to say, too, those of you who are watching this, uh, Pat Campbell, patleecampbell.com, love her stuff, been friends with her, oh, man, since, like, 2008, I think it's we go back that far. Yeah, I have from so the much beginning, yeah. trust and appreciation for Pat. She's done a lot for me uh, professionally and personally. She's so supportive, and I know that she can help you uh, with whatever it is that you're trying to do too. So I want to put a plug in for you. Hey, thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great weekend. It's really good to be here among friends and particularly Eric. And so um, just continue to read the post here and. Uh, at the bottom, you'll see a call to action, so I'll look for your, your takeaway on that. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Pat. Yeah. Thank you.